Hello everyone, so today I will be giving Coconut a makeover on his enclosure because I feel like in comparison to Kiwi's, his enclosure is a little smaller and neglected, so I just feel like he deserves more. So let's get into it. So the first thing I did is I went ahead and got some wood for the enclosure and I got some mesh so that I could make a frame that I could open and close but these frames, not the frames, these um, fences, they were not really good so I just skipped that step and a lot of people ask this question and it is where can I get those footballs that you use in your videos and you can literally get this at a hardware store like I was at they sell them in the gardening section and they're really cheap and they come with a lot of different sizes and it's perfect for your tortoises it's just really easy to clean and and I really like them. Next thing I got and that I recommend is getting some river stones. You can use it for decoration and it also helps with keeping dirt out of food bowls. So as you can see in the before, the enclosure did not match the top one which really annoyed me. It was a lot more narrow and it didn't have as much space to walk around and the decorations weren't that good and I couldn't really plant plants in there so I just didn't really like it. While disassembling I might as well explain so basically we took his old terrarium that was uh, indoors and placed it outdoors and just made a wooden frame so that he wouldn't bang against the glass which didn't exactly prevent that. So that's another thing I didn't like. And yeah, as you can tell, we just removed that and took off the wood and we got a terrarium. And as you can tell, it was pretty bare. After Coconut realized he was temporarily homeless, he just decided, you know what, this is it. I'm ending my life here. It was nice to meet you. We just went ahead and started building the enclosure. It was really simple, we just had to build around the legs and fill it with dirt, basically. Well, Coconut still had a death wish, so we just put him on the floor and let him roam around us. This is how it looks like so far, so next I will be adding a few more boards to the back so that he can walk in and out of the enclosure and so that we have some height for the dirt so that he can also dig under if he wants and we also need a base which is what I'm going to show you next. So the base is very simple, it's just four boards with four more smaller boards under it so that it has some height and it's off the ground and lifted so that's it, now we just had to cut four little corners so that it would fit nicely and we had to also make sure that it was waterproof so that the wood wouldn't rot and I will show all of those steps right now but first Frank had to make sure it was safe and secure So it was looking so much better already and this was the end of day one so we had the, the basic structure already built so all that was left to do was setting up. So first things first, it was the dirt. So I just knew I wanted to give him a lot of dirt because I know he loves digging and I was really excited about this part because it could mean that I would be able to also plant some plants so that he could eat and I just, I was really excited about this. So yeah, I just filled it up generously and started decorating. Even though he can probably get out on his own, I just really wanted to make sure that he can easily get in and out and so I provided him with a little ramp and 
he was already really excited about his enclosure. So since I did get a whole bag of river stones, I decided to decorate his food bowls. And this is also great if you want to keep dirt out of your food, food bowl and water bowl. And it's also great for their nails and beaks, so it's just a win-win situation. I also plan on planting his enclosure and this is the plant that I got. I got some petunias, but they were full of fertilizer so I couldn't plant it directly into his enclosure. But it was hilarious because as soon as I turned around for a second, he just ate it. Fun fact, right after I watered him, he just peed on it. So that's the thanks I get, I guess. Either way, I ended up washing both of his bowls and just watering him again. And I'm just in love with this setup so far. It looks so good. And he, I would say he's in love with it too. He's super curious. He's always walking around and it's just adorable to see him. He kind of knows his house is like revamped and I don't know, it's just funny to watch him. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved making it and Coconut loved it too. And I just released new merch so I highly recommend you check that out. Also, don't forget to follow me. I have an account on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and Pinterest. And I'll see you guys later.